Saturday, February 25th, 2012. <laughs> um, the month's not going uh, as, as good as I wanted it to. It's going, but uh, you know, every month's got these wrenches <laughs> thrown into the works, but um, dealing with what I can. Uh, the box truck being down is going to be. Um, bad, but it's not going to put me down for the count. Um, what I really have to do is get this pickup running and uh, somehow find a way to get a uh, throw bearing in it so I don't burn out the clutches and uh, then uh, get my um, car trailer and get down to Florida and clear it, <coughs> clear it out with a car trailer. And what's left in the pickup truck. Uh, also, this month coming up, I'm going to have to uh, at least uh, consolidate uh, two into one up in Pennsylvania storage units. So if I can eliminate the Florida situation, eliminate uh, half of the garages down here, and eliminate half of the garages up in Pennsylvania and get a job. Then, uh, then this is survivable. So, in theory, it's survivable. So anyway, um, I'm looking today. I got to look for credit card that's been missing. Um, otherwise, I'm going to lose one of my domains today. Uh, Cheesedog.us this isn't going to be the end of the world since I have cheesedog.com, but um, I don't want to lose it because I won't be able to get it back because they hold it hostage for like years. Uh, why do I have cheesedog? <laughs> because I'm entertaining the possibility of um, selling hot dogs with a cart. Um, it wouldn't really be that far of a stretch to be able to do that. I just have to get a restaurant to um, work under its license. I could have bought, on credit, a, a, an entire uh, hot dog business, which had like 300 a month going out and it had all the licensing and the equipment and everything, but they wanted too much money. They wanted way too much. They wanted like uh, 17000 for the business. They didn't own the building or anything. And all I need is a stupid cart if I want to do that. And then I'll go down to the, um, um, they have like a, for three quarters of the year, they have like this uh, farmer's market kind of thing downtown. I could set up in that. And that's what I'd do. Or I'd set up in the fairs, you know. Just, just enough to make some money to, offset all this crap. I really don't have a high overhead as far as people go. Um, but, uh, you know, any overhead's high when you don't have the income coming in. Anyway, what I'm going to do today is work on that uh, extended cab truck. Since there's nothing I can do about this um, box truck situation, because we need like 120 bucks for the um, alternator, minimum, <laughs> and uh, and that's only for a short time because it's on eBay and if it, somebody sells it then, then it's gone. And it's back up to 200 again. Uh, what else do I have to do? Um, I'm going to possibly go out and get some locks for the toolbox. Possibly go up to the storage unit and start the uh, consolidation of the uh, processing unit so that I can fit the sprint in it. So that I want to put the sprint in there so I can eliminate other storage units and uh, get working on that sprint. I want this sprint on the road this month coming up. So if I can pull that off, then I have room for half the uh, crap up in. Pennsylvania, including tools and whatnot, which I'm going to probably bring a lot of my electric tools here and uh, 
I'm still fighting to uh, set up a, a prototype shop kind of deal. George is giving me the reasons that I'm not going to ever be able to get my stuff out of storage as his reason for not letting me clear the area in the basement when really we all know he just doesn't want to let go of that uh, pile of crap he's seen in the pictures. The picture speaks a thousand words. If I can get uh, my equipment set up down there I could theoretically do some subcontract woodworking uh, or I could or I could put a catalog online. I have the sites I just need to reinstate my hosting. Uh, last night I've been diverting all my uh, emails and, and everything uh, through a Google account. It worked well, but a lot of these banks aren't going to allow forwarded mails. So, But at least some of them, some of the stuff I'm able to get right now. They re-forwarded it by changing it at my, um, at my registrar, changing the pointers. They should all be propagated by now. It's been over 24 hours. Um, they re-diverted everything. I don't have all my emails pointed yet. I have like uh, 40 emails or something like that. The reason being that I give each credit card or bank their own email because when they're giving out my email address for uh, all these spammers, I know where it's coming from, so I don't get this big gom of crap where I'm getting like 300 emails a day and it's all stupid crap, which has been a big problem. So a diverted email solves that issue. Uh, anyway, onward with the whatever. <laughs> this is working fairly well. It adds a little bit of... Um, of um, work to to putting these videos up, but um, what I'm doing now, since YouTube's been so squirrely, they've been screwing my videos. So ah, I'll be back. Okay, I'm looking at the box. What I need to do is get a pair key like number one or number five uh, master locks. Uh, number one's heavier duty. Um, I think I used to use number five on these. I didn't have one this big though. But um, so that's one thing I'm going to do today is try to pick up a pair of uh, number one masters. That way this will be secure and I can start uh, putting my crap in here. I'm walking downtown again. I'm going to head up to the. Uh, storage units. They also have to get two locks and hopefully some boxes. Somebody had bought all those boxes so they didn't have any the other day. What I want to do is start getting the uh, processing unit cleared. I want to have it cleared by March 1st so that I can uh, start processing the sprint in the trailer. I can get the sprint in the trailer on the road. And then I'll have a whole area where I can uh, bring a lot of stuff from Pennsylvania. Plus eliminate a lot of garages. And I can get this done somehow. It's just a matter of getting the cash for, uh, for um, gas and whatnot. If I can get it all down, then I only have a hundred and a quarter outlay, plus my credit card outlay, which is another uh, $500, and my other stupid licensing and all this other BS stuff is probably another $200, so about $200 a week I should be able to get everything down to. I'm going to get a job for $200 a week and do all that, I'll be home free. Although it's going to take, you know, 10, 15 years. Unless I can shortcut it somehow, but I'll at least survive this. Oh, it's nice getting around. Going to load. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're selling less and less master locks and more Brinks locks that they can make more profit on. But they don't have any key to like, and they don't even have any number ones. Guess I'll go over the farm supply. Is trying to get a deal on these. I know that uh, Lowe's doesn't sell master anymore. I may end up having to get it on eBay. Here's a thought. Gun safe is about. This one's about a grand. Well, the uh, Farm Bureau doesn't have them, so I guess I'm going to have to go to, uh, I'm going to look at Lowe's, but I don't think they have Master Logs. I think I'm going to have to buy them on uh, eBay. Well, hopefully I can at least get boxes. I'm going to check and see if they're selling Master Logs now. Well, they had no Master Logs that size, and their boxes are different now. I'm going to blow out their old boxes. This will buy these 16 by 12 by 12s, I'm going to buy 20 of them. Yeah, that's about it. some guy horn is stuck on his car. It's, funny. it's about 25 degrees out and it's totally... Um, this one's really showing me for a Anyway, there's... 20 boxes, about 15 hmm, I guess the small boxes are the same size, it's just different printing, that's cool. Perfect. Um, I'm going to get started on this daunting task. Didn't really take that long to fill this uh, processing center. <clears throat> um, and I'm not uh, doing an exorbitant amount of uh, sorting, I'm going to just pack them down and move them to the uh, time capsule garage. So it's probably not going to really take too long. I'm going to work on this the next two days flat out, and then a few days during next week flat out. And I should be able to get this clear enough to uh, to be able to um, pull this trailer into the back. I'm going to pull out that motorcycle, <clears throat> hopefully bring it down to George's, even though I'm having a hard time right now with him. I'll put it on the back of one of my trucks or something. And uh, I'll get the Sprint over into this garage. Hopefully the beginning of next month. And it's just a matter of getting that sucker running and on the road. And I'll pull out the Sprint and this trailer. And then I'll uh, use this uh, to, for processing Pennsylvania's crap. Man, it's cold out there, I'll tell you. Um, I gotta take a break and go down and get cleaned up at McDonald's. I got in some uh, fiberglass hardener. I got all over my hands and face. I gotta go wash it off. Back well, that was good. I got. I was gonna buy a hamburger, but there's just such a big line. I'm not gonna bother. I got some real hamburgers at home. I'm gonna go up to uh, Tractor Sales place up there and uh, see if they got any um, master locks. Well, they actually have it. Only thing is, it's uh, twenty-two dollars. That's really killing me. Well, they got some good locks here. Yeah, they're a lot more expensive than Lowe's on that one. That one's thirty dollars for that one. That's a kind of ease on the back of the box truck. Yeah, after tax it was twenty-three oh nine. So. I'm going to tax people around here get a lot. And I'm psyched that I can start loading it now though, assuming those fit. Hopefully the shackle's big enough. And my camera holster broke. Luckily I noticed where the camera went. Um, anyway, the door, I think I'm going to give George that door and I'll put it on for his basement. That way you can put a uh, a good lock on the basement. And that'll help protect me too, so... Well, it doesn't look like I made a dent in it, but I made a lot of progress. 
Um, I didn't find some paperwork. I'm missing a credit card, which is driving me crazy because I need this stupid thing. I haven't been able to find it. I don't think it was ever sent, but I'm being told it was sent. But the other ones that were supposedly sent with it, I have those, and I don't have this one, and I never used it, so figure that one out. Anyway, I'm about to head home pretty soon. It's starting to, the sun's starting to go down. I want to cook some food before it gets dark. Okay, I installed the locks. I put some tools in here. That's my torch. And a box of miscellaneous tools and uh, my socket set. I'm going to have room for a lot of tools in here. Anyway, this is stripped a little bit, which I don't like. So I'm just going to have to keep an eye on that one. Oh, it works good. Locks work good. Nice. Very cool. Anyway, I'll, uh, over the next few weeks, I'll work on filling this sucker up. Most of the stuff that's going in here is in Florida. I hope everything fits. Otherwise, I'm, well, I'm going to get two more boxes like this for the trucks, but if I can delay that, I want to because these are expensive. I wonder if this shows up in the dark. <laughs> Cooking some hamburgers in the dark. Or a hamburger. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Homemade cheeseburger. They used to make them rare, but I don't trust the factories anymore nowadays since the feds are just, uh, they aren't watching the factories anymore. They're watching the end point. So I cook a medium rare.